importing craft and microbrewery alcohol products and customs regulations. Welcome to another episode of our Customs Brokerage series. In today's video, we will be diving deep into the specific customs regulations associated with importing craft and microbrewery alcohol products. If you're a beer enthusiast or someone looking to start their own brewery business, this video is for you. Let's get started. Understanding the importance of a customs bond. One of the key aspects of importing alcohol products is having a customs bond in place. A customs bond is essentially a financial guarantee that ensures compliance with customs regulations and payment of duties, taxes, and fees. It acts as a form of insurance in case there are any violations or non-payment of obligations. It is vital to have a customs bond from a reputable insurance provider in order to proceed with your importation process smoothly. Know your Importer Security Filing ISF, requirements. Importer Security Filing or ISF, is another crucial aspect of importing alcohol products. ISF is a filing requirement imposed by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for ocean freight shipments entering the United States. It includes important information such as shipper and consignee details, container packing information, and much more. Properly filing your ISF is essential to avoid any penalties or delays in your import process. Compliance with Federal Regulations When importing alcohol products, it is important to comply with the regulations set by several federal agencies. These agencies include the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau TTB, the Food and Drug Administration FDA, and the Federal Trade Commission FTC. Failure to comply with their regulations can result in fines, product seizures, or even the revocation of your license to import alcohol. Therefore, it is crucial to thoroughly understand and adhere to the specific requirements set by each agency. Labeling and Packaging Requirements Proper labeling and packaging are vital when importing craft and microbrewery alcohol products. Labels must include specific information such as alcohol content, country of origin, health warnings, and a list of ingredients. Packaging should be secure and meet the necessary standards to avoid any damage during the transportation process. Adhering to these requirements will not only ensure compliance but also maintain the integrity of your products. Taxes and Duties Importing alcohol products typically involves the payment of various taxes and duties. The specific rates depend on factors such as the type of alcohol, alcohol content, and country of origin. It is essential to research and understand these costs before importing to properly factor them into your budget. Additionally, there may be exemptions or reductions available for certain types of alcohol or specific purposes, so it is worthwhile to explore these options as well. That wraps up our deep dive into the customs regulations associated with importing craft and microbrewery alcohol products. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and a better understanding of the intricacies involved in the importation process. Remember, having a customs bond, fulfilling ISF requirements, complying with federal regulations, properly labeling and packaging your products, and considering taxes and duties are all crucial steps in successfully importing alcohol products. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos to come. Check the disclaimer note posted below.